Hey there, I just wanted to do a quick test. I have a Lenovo Y700 15ACZ. It's got a AMD FX8800P and it's also got discrete graphics, the R9 M385X. I went into the BIOS and I disabled my discrete graphics. As you can see in here in my device manager, I've only got the R7 graphics listed. When I have the R9 enabled in the BIOS, it shows up here. But I want to see if Doom will run using Vulkan when I only got my FX800P going. Because I know there's a lot of laptops out there that that don't that don't have discrete graphics but they have an FX8800P so let's find out alright so here's Doom running an OpenGL FX8800P only no discrete graphics no R9 M385X and this is my Lenovo laptop the Y715ACZ and I can see just from standing here, it's showing 20 frames a second. I don't have my external mouse hooked up right now, but... You can see the game... Probably isn't going to play very smooth at all. It's very slow. It's... So... I could say right now... With certainty, an OpenGL and FX8800P only, don't bother. At least not at 1080p high settings. I don't really feel like trying to run it at lower res and all that. I'm sure it might be playable, but anyway. So that's that. Let's try and run Doom with the Vulkan API. See if it actually runs when it's just my FX8800P only. No, no discrete graphics. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm running Doom with the. Uh, I switched to Vulkan, and I'm only running off my FX8800P. But as you can see. I'm only getting half a screen here. So, right now I'm thinking, hey, the Vulkan API and the FX800P by itself with no discrete GPU isn't gonna, isn't gonna work. Let me change some settings, see if that helps. Okay, so I changed it from 1080p high settings to 1080p low, and now I'm getting the uh, I'm getting full screen here. There's no half half screen and half black, and you can see just standing here, it's at around 35 frames a second. Now this actually might be playable. Unfortunately, I'm not. I mean, it's actually running pretty smooth. Just, just compared to how it was running in OpenGL. Now I was running it on high settings, but hey, it looks like you might be able to play this game. If all you have is an FX8800P and you run Vulkan, I don't know. It, it's up to you. I mean, I'm sure at lower res this is gonna it's gonna play okay. I'm actually playing this using the touchpad right now. I'm gonna die. Anyway, let's get in the action here and 
Hey, look at me turn around real slow with the touchpad. All right. Oh, just kill me already. There you go. So there you have it. You can run Vulcan with an FX 8800P only. Now I know on this laptop, I think the TDP is running at 35 watts, so I don't know how well it would do on the 15 watt version of the FX 8800P. For that I would need another laptop. But I'll just show you real quick what settings this was at. I go back to the main menu. You can see right here it is running Vulcan and I've got it at low settings at 1920 by 1080 so let me back out of here and discuss okay so we've disabled my discrete graphics we run doom and OpenGL and Vulcan on the FX 8800p only and you could see the results it works and Vulcan actually does improve the gameplay I just wanted to show you I went back into my BIOS and re-enabled my discrete graphics because you know I don't know why you would ever want to disable them. But it's an option in the BIOS. And it did give me the chance to see and let people out there who are running just off an FX 8800P or an A7 or what is it, the the A10 8700P, the one just below the FX 8800. Maybe, maybe you have a shot at playing Doom at at lower resolution with Vulcan enabled so there you have it and I guess I could just finish with how do I get in the BIOS on this laptop well it's over here on the side I know the lighting's terrible right now but there we go you can almost see you can't see but you got a headphone jack here and right next to the headphone jack is a tiny little hole and you need a tool like a SIM card ejector or a small pin or something. You power your laptop completely off and then you push the button inside that little hole that's down here on this left side of the laptop and you'll get a menu your laptop will boot, you'll get a menu to boot off uh, whatever device or to go into the BIOS. That's how you get into the BIOS on this laptop. And that's that. So, for what it's worth, you can, you can use Vulkan if you're running an APU only. At least an FX8800P. The other ones, I don't know, that's going to be up to you guys to test that. Good luck.